Today we are gonna analyze how Fred and Casemiro boosted 10 hacks tactics to beat Conte's side. First, we are gonna see Manchester United's offensive structure. When United tried to play out from the back in zone A, Martinez was covered by Harry Kane. Meanwhile, Son covered the passing lines to Varane. For that reason, it was important the movements of Casemiro. As he created a passing line, he dragged to his mark and he was able to play with Varane. Thanks to those movements, Bisuma is out of position and United was able to progress to zone B, where Fernandez and Fred started to play a key role in the build up. As Spurs was unbalanced in the midfield, one center back had to move forward to press Fred, but this created a space for Rashford between the two center backs. When De Gea was able to play with the center backs, Casemiro kept dragging to his mark, and this created a passing line to zone B, where Fred and Bruno Fernandes received with numerical advantage in zone B. Therefore, one player from Spurs defensive line had to move forward to press Fernandes, like in this case the right wing back but this created a space for the run of Luke Shaw. When Casemiro dropped back between the center backs, it was important the coordination between Fred and Bruno Fernandes because one of these players had to play smart movements without the ball, like in this case Fred dragged to Spurs midfield and this created a passing line for Bruno Fernandes. On Spurs half, Fernandes dragged two Spurs midfielders to free Fred. Thanks to this, he was able to play great balls to the strikers. When United had the ball in zone C and D, it was important the creation of triangles, but also the movements of a fourth player, since this helped to overload one side to free the winger. However, when Man United couldn't progress from one side, they switched the game to the opposite flank, where Diego Dalot always had space to play the great crosses. In the same way, it was important the coordination of Anthony and Diego Dalot, since the winger moved narrow and this freed the wide position for Dalot, who received with advantage and played a great cross for Luke Shaw. When Casemiro was involved in the build-up, he knew that Dalot was free on the right flank, and he was supported by Anthony, who played great through passes to Bruno Fernandes. As he received the ball close to Spurs' box, Casemiro had a space near the edge of the box since Spurs' midfielders dropped back. When Casemiro took the ball near zone D, Fred was playing as a second striker and he coordinated really well his movements with Rashford, who dropped back to play it with Sancho, who tried to assist Fred. When United couldn't find spaces through the right side, Fernandez made smart movements without the ball to drag Spurs midfielders to free Fred. When Spurs tried to play out from the back, Man United oriented the pressure to the flanks and they surrounded the possible receptors. The times when Casemiro jumped to press high, Barane and Martinez were over Son and Kane, therefore they couldn't play forward. As United's pressure block surrounded really well to Spurs midfielders, the center backs tried to play long balls to Kane and Son, but Varane was outstanding. On the second half, Manchester kept pressing with this type of pressure, even though they had the lead. When Spurs was able to advance to zone B and C and overcame United's fullbacks, the aggressiveness to recover the ball from Casemiro and Fred was top notch. Manchester United found their goals by quick transitions. Martinez overcame zone in the aerial duel, and Bruno Fernandes anticipated Holbier, therefore, he has time to look for Anthony, who is free on the right flank because Perisic was on offensive position. Spurs defensive line dropped back to their box and Anthony switched to Sancho. He waited for Fred, who had a space on the edge of the box because Spurs midfielders also dropped back to their box. And thanks to this, Fred scored. On Manchester United's second goal, Shaw recovered the ball in his box and he ran outside. 
Fred is free on the central corridors and he made a great pass to Anthony who was again free on the right flank. He saw the smart run from Bruno Fernandes between Spurs midfielders. He tried to play it with Fred, yet there was a rebound on Dyer, therefore Bruno Fernandes was able to make a great shot. Leave your thoughts about this game and thanks for watching the video. This video is brought to you by Play by Metric Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use coupon Nasir Salad at checkout for a 10% discount.